Yo guys, it's JJ here and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a Roddy Rich tutorial and it's been a while since I've done one of these. However, as you've seen by the time of the video, he's dropping an album or should have dropped it by now, an album called Deeds of Street 3. And of course, that's going to complete the trilogy. I'm excited for the album, it's coming out tomorrow as of the time of this recording. So let's just get straight into it. First of all, Roddy Rich, we all know and love him. He loves pianos, he loves guitars. So I thought, let me take the guitar route. I don't do that enough. So why I did first preset of the day and first VSC of the day is of course Omnisphere with a preset called Jazz Guitar Pick B from the Guitar Band. And as you guys can see, this is the first pattern I came up with. Very nice. I'd say it's relatively simple to be honest. And let me just take you through it. So first of all, as you guys can see by a pattern, I just lay down these nice little root notes, then took it up an octave. And once I took it up an octave, I initially lay down these three notes making it a nice little chord as you can see a nice little minor and then I, I did a little strumming thing and then apart from that you can see it's the same chord again playing over however instead of leaving it at a b i took it down to an a sharp minor and that just makes it a bit more tense it adds a bit more emotion into it as you can see because notes one note apart our intention creates a bit of emotion that carries through and it sounds really good overall. And once I lay down this nice little G sharp minor chord, as you can see, and made it strum, as I told you how I did it, I've let it play again over and over, but instead I just took down these notes a few semitones. And that's how I got the whole sound of it going. And that explains why the root notes go from G sharp, G sharp to E, all the way down to C sharp minor. And without further ado, this is what the melody sounds like. And there you have it very nice it sounds super emotional super like mysterious in a way as well and i really really mess with it and as well as that real quick as you guys can see i clicked alt r to randomize the velocity of the note makes it sound more human and it also just helps carry that emotion through a bit more in my opinion as for effects honestly all i did was just whack an eq and that's all i did literally not even a bit of reverb don't know why but i guess at the time that's what i thought and next up for the vst we got ourselves expand 2 and I'm using a bass preset called Fingerless Bass. It's my go-to bass preset because I can't afford contact. And this is literally all I played. Same as the root notes, very simple. However, I just add a bit of a bounce to it. Played a few extra notes, like transitional ones. And that's all I really did. So without further ado, this is what the bass sounds like. And there you have it very nice very simple and the transitional notes also help carry a bit of emotion so boy sounded super dope and i think Roddy richard really really just glide over this melody and as for effects for this bass i literally have no effects on it i thought it was really good the way it sounded so didn't need to add much or anything for the matter actually next up we got ourselves a preset from analog lab 5 and it's called arc shadow and if i remember correctly it is from the artillery bag by max shooter we all know who he is super dope so I reckon go cop it, you know, my shooter, if you're watching this, you know, hit me up, you know, I'd love to work, but regardless of the fact, don't preset. Then, as you can see, I literally copy and pasted the melody over, took away the root notes, and just left the chords to play. And as well as that, I randomized the velocity again, clicking Alt-R. And then, without further ado, this is what this nice R player sounds like. And there you have it very nice super spacious adds that ambience to the melody and it sounds so so fire as for effects as well i actually have none on this i don't know why i did that but here we are and then last but not least we got ourselves another instance of expand 2 and i'm using a preset called the block and spiel and of course it's from the bells bank and then real quick as well i upped the attack a bit so it came off a bit more like a paddy sound and you'll hear that now so as you see this is a nice little counter melody i made all i did was just come up with this nice little like cascading stair effect thing you know what i mean the notes just slowly go down the scale and play the notes over and repeat that sense but for the second half of the four bar i just changed it up a bit however i kept the same rhythm as you can see because keeping the rhythm is very key i think it makes a lot of an impact of the artist same with the listener it keeps things nice and steady not too crazy but just by changing the notes slash the pitch it does a nice little difference so without further ado this is what the bell sounds like
And there you have it. Super nice bell slash pad thing that I kind of made. And for effects, we have none yet again because I really thought the sound sounded dope and I didn't need much onto it. And now, without further ado, this is what the whole melody sounds like together. And there you have it guys, that's the melody, it sounds super emotional, Roddy Rich can do his thing over it, it has a nice little bit of ambience, and it's quite simple because again, he's kind of like a rapper slash singer, we all know this, but the point I'm making with this statement is, he has a lot of good vocals, he likes to stretch his pitch, so let him do his thing, keep the melody nice and simple, but obviously have that nice little pizzazz to it, make it sound nice, let it carry some sort of emotion through, so it'll give Roddy or whatever rapper on top of your beat that little bit more oomph. And now of course we come to the drums and we start of course with the clap pattern. And as you can see, relatively simple. However, I just added a bit of variation here and a nice little like little mini roll thing. That's all it really was. And I created that by playing three notes back to back to back and then just messing with the velocity by right clicking it. So without further ado, this is what the clap pattern sounds like. And there you have it. Next up, we've got the hi-hat pattern. So to take you guys through it, the first of all, this roll, as you guys can see, it's a nice little half step roll that I made, even though I use a quarter tool. And then these are quarter rolls, but I didn't like fully extend them because I, I wanted them to have like a bit of a bounce. So played half of it over twice in a row, gave it a nice little bit of an oomph. And then here, it's pretty much like a one step kind of roll thing, except instead of having it at the same note, I let the pitch take it down. And I thought that sounded really nice to be honest. And then all I did was just play again, a full roll quarter step, and then just took down the velocity by right clicking it, as you can see. Gave it a nice little sound. I don't know how you describe it, but it sounded really dope. And then we got ourselves another little quarter roll, half step roll again. And then I kind of imitated this pattern at the end of this two bar but for the end of the four bar here just took the notes down instead of adding a few extra ones and then i just copy and pasted it so that is how i did my hi-hats and this is what they sounds like And there you have it. Nice little higher pattern. Nice little bit of a bounce. Nothing too crazy because again, because we don't want to drown out Roddy, Roddy Rich's vocals with all these crazy instrumentations going on. So kept it relatively simple for the roles. And next up, we got ourselves the 808 pattern. And for this one, I used like the Wheezy 808. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty much like a Zay 808, but super fat instead. And as you can see, the 808 pattern, super, super separated out. And essentially all it is, is this four bar pattern, copy and pasted it, dragged it over, and then just placed it along the root notes, as you can see, which were again, E, and then C sharp minor. And of course, with all the importance in the world, three words, max your velocities. And to do that, click control A, and you just scroll the wheel to max it out because it makes your 808 punch different and it's what you want. So without further ado, this is what the 808 pattern sounds like. And there you have it. Nice airway pattern. Simple, spacious. Let's Roddy do his thing. And now, the kick pattern. So, as you can see, kick pattern, same as the airway pattern, except it's all on the same note. And of course, the velocity is a max, as you see. And without further ado, this is what the kick sounds like. And there you have it. And now without further ado, this is what the full drum pattern sounds like together. And there you have it guys. You have the full drum pattern, you got the full melody pattern, you know what Roddy Rich likes, you know what to do, be the streets coming out tomorrow again at the time of this recording i really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial make sure to comment like subscribe all down below and of course i'll see you guys next time peace